Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. We're going out to the district. It's the first time we've been at, uh, we've ever taken an episode and focused on Washington, D.C., the legendary Rayful Edmond, the most notorious, feared, prolific drug dealer in Washington, D.C. history, is a free man. After 35 years in prison, he walked out this week. Uh, he cut a cooperation deal with the federal government about six or seven years into his sentence, helped the DEA solve three uh, gangland homicides and cop two trying to broker a, it was like a $200 million cocaine deal between uh, Colombian cartels and, and uh, people in Washington and Virginia and has been in some type of protection unit uh, for the past 25 plus years. Got a sentence reduction uh, three or four years ago and finally got out. Uh, he had another case he had to worry about. That got reduced as well. That was just a straight, uh, he had a, a drug racketeering case, a murder case, and then the case that uh, he took when he was in prison. But uh, he is out of federal custody now. Not sure what his next move is. I would guess that we will see him try to develop some type of brand for himself and and he'll be jumping into the social media fray. That's my prediction. Who knows? But I, I would guess that he'll have an Instagram account up by next week. So, but you know, he's somebody that has to watch his back. Um, as legendary as he was, he is, he was still, you know, uh, still snitched and is considered a cooperator. Uh, what's probably most notable about him is that he was somebody that surrounded himself by uh, with basketball players. Uh, a lot of uh, he was a basketball player in high school. He uh, a lot of his what was called the, the top of the line crew, which was his his uh, his organization, was guys that had been star basketball players in college and high school, semi pro, uh, and they all became dope boys under him. And he was. Somebody that, as a big basketball fan, uh, attended a lot of NBA games, attended a lot of college games, was a super fan of the Georgetown Hoyas, and used to socialize with a lot of the Hoyas players, had a, a pretty famous face-to-face uh, -face meeting with the, the Hoyas legendary basketball coach. You know, these two D.C. legends from completely different worlds coming together in the fall of 1988 john thompson the basketball coaching legend and rayful edmund the at that time the real time um mega crime lord drug kingpin uh and thompson called him into his office and basically said you got to stop hanging out with my players and at that point particularly he was talking about alonzo morning who was his all-american center and would go on to become an, an nba hall of famer but Rayful Edmond was uh, famous for having like a summer league team that he would play. He would play on. He'd like be the point guard, and he would have a lot of at that point college all Americans or high school all Americans. Uh, sometimes I think former NBA players, and they would play in in these summer tournaments, and there'd be a lot of money on the line being bet, you know, in the stands. And back in '87, '88, he was. He was hanging with a lot of the Georgetown Hoyas. Uh, and in the summer of 88, Alonzo Mourning was playing with him uh, on these teams. I think they were called the men at work. I'm not positive. But uh, Thompson called Rafael Edmond into a meeting, told him to stop hanging around his players. Edmond agreed. They shook hands. Um, John Thompson discussed it in his autobiography that was released back in 2020. and. It didn't really happen. Rayful Edmonds continued to socialize uh, with his players and, and sit front court at all of the uh, Georgetown games. In fact, he was there uh, when when Georgetown lost to Duke. And I think it was either the Sweet 16 or the or the Elite Eight in 1989. Duke, uh, or I should say Georgetown was a number one seed. Uh, and they lost to Duke with, I think it was Christian Leitner's um, 
either is, is I think it was his freshman freshman season. Anyway, that was at the Meadowlands, and and Rayful Evan was arrested three weeks later. So he went out a Georgetown Hoya fan. He's free right now. It will be interesting to see what his second chapter is. Please like, subscribe, and share everything here at the OG Pod. We got a Patreon that's going to be rolling out this month, so look for that. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod. I'm out.